Hey guys, it's your boy Tristan and welcome back to another Game Maker Studio 3D tutorial. In this one, we're going to be doing a couple things. Um, first thing of all, we're going to be making a mini map and uh, the second part of this video is just going to be changing the field of view of the camera and later on we can do some really cool things with that. With the mini map, we don't have to throw away the 2D version of the game that we made. We can still use that and the way that we can use that is in a mini map. So a mini map is essentially just our 2D version of the game but stuffed into the top left corner of the screen. So we can essentially do that, and the way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to make a new object, and I'm going to call it Object GUI. And uh, in the create event, we're just going to have one variable, and it's going to be GUI scale, and I'm just going to set this to uh, 0.25. And essentially, when we draw every object in our game to the minimap, the X scale in one is set equal to this GUI scale. So if I set the X scale and Y scale of every object in our game to 0.25, it's essentially meaning that our minimap is going to take up an eighth of our screen in the top left. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into draw and draw GUI and drag in a codec. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, loop through every object in our game that we want to draw to the minimap. So obviously we're going to do player and we're going to do with uh, parent solid because those are the only two objects we have at the moment. And uh, you can feel free to add things to this or take things away from this, things that you want on your minimap versus things that you don't want on your minimap. And uh, it's just as easy as that. And both these with loops are gonna have the exact same code. So that's quite nice. You could even put that in a script if you wanted to. First thing we're gonna need is we're gonna have to declare a temporary variable called GSC, and that's gonna stand for GUI scale. So, And it's just going to be equal to the GUI scale of the object that sort of calls this loop, which is obviously our GUI object. Uh, and then next, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to go draw sprite extended, and uh, it's basically the same as draw sprite, but we have a couple other options that we want, um, particularly x scale and y scale. Um, so for the most part, we're going to keep all these arguments general. So we're going to go, for example, like for sprite, we're going to go sprite index um, image index for sub image, uh, but when it comes to x and y and x scale and y scale, that's when things get a little bit more interesting. So we're going to go uh, x times GSC, y times GSC. So that's scaling the x and y coordinates to the top left corner of the screen. And the same for x scale and y scale. So we're going to go image x scale times GSC and image y scale times GSC. And then it's just like the general case for everything else. So for rotation, we're going to go direction, obviously. Um, see why it's for, well, I mean, we could even go like image blend for color and for alpha, image alpha. And that's it. That's the code. And we're just going to copy and paste this into our other with loop. And that's that done. That's the minimap. So we're going to want to put our GUI object in our room. And then we can start up the game and test the minimap. And uh, as you can see, we have a minimap in the top left corner, which is essentially, like I said, just the 2D version of our game. And uh, we've just drawn it to the top left. So that's pretty cool how we got to keep that little um, thing, like I did it for a reason kind of thing. Uh, more reasons than just one, in fact. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to uh, edit the D3D projection to incorporate field of view. And uh, like I said, that's going to be in the object camera, by the way, in the draw event. And like I said, that's going to be helpful uh, for when we decide to do things like sprinting. In a lot of games, when you sprint, the field of view increases to give uh, to really like accentuate and exaggerate the acceleration. Um, and that's going to be something that I'll teach you how to do in the next part. So instead of D3D set projection, it's going to be set projection extended. And uh, all these nine first arguments are the same. And then we got an extra four arguments to play with. So angle down here is what I was just talking about, which is field of view. And uh, in fact, we should probably set that variable. Uh, we'll set it after. So we've got field of view, which we haven't declared yet. Uh, bear with me. Um, aspect. So if you know anything about monitors or TVs, you know what aspect ratio is. Um, it's just like the width of the screen divided by the height of the screen. And that's essentially what we're going to do here. But instead of a screen, it's going to be like our game window. So we're going to make a couple variables. The first one's W for width. And uh, that one's going to be simply view W port. And that's just, this, uh, that's just the width of the screen, of the game screen. And we're going to do the same for height. But instead of W port, we'll do H port. So for aspect, I think you can imagine we can just go W divided by H. And um, 
that's going to allow us to set the resolution of our game so we no longer get like that ugly square box and uh, half of it goes off the screen capture for me anyway, so this will be good. Um, so for Z near and Z far, uh, I'll just type in the arguments first, so I'm going to say those two numbers. And uh, what these numbers are is it tells the projection to draw anything within this range of units away from you. So it'll draw anything more than one unit away from you, but less than 32,000 units away from you. Um, and that'll hopefully save some processing power. Essentially, this is just the most sensible big number that I could think of. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back into create and set our FOV. And uh, I've just got that set to 75. And um, it's a little bit more than the standard. Uh, I think the standard is at 45 degrees. So our FOV is 75 degrees. It's just basically how much you can see around you. And there's just one other thing that we're going to have to do before we can test the game. And namely, that's going into views and just messing around. So we can check enable use of views and visible when the room starts, which will make view zero visible when the room starts. And for the view in room, that's just going to be the size of your room. So I've got my room set to 1024 by 1024. And uh, for the port on the screen, that's going to be what you want your resolution to be. So yep, yeah, I've got my resolution set to 720p. That's what I'm recording at. You can set it to whatever resolution you like. And um, typically what you'll do is you'll have like a settings option in your game and your, your player can go into settings and change those variables. So now we're just going to test the game. And uh, now what we have is we have um, a minimap and we've got field of view and we've got some sort of resolution that you can change and uh, everything scales nicely. So I hope you enjoyed this episode guys and in the next episode we're going to be doing um, sprinting and crouching. So stick around for that one because it's going to be good.